boost us from the lavender project um i'm a random guy that's with this guy for money from the lavender project well tony's not here today <laughs> Well, fuck you, Mike. <laughs> well, fuck you, Mike. Anyway, so today, guys, we're going to be talking about a creepypasta that's been well-known. And it's actually, you know, it's kind of well-known, not really. It's uh, actually an old one, and it's probably the best reference to anything real that you'll see on the internet, or at least on the wiki. It's old, but it's fairly new. Just like this guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, uh, if you're wondering why we're both standing here and this camera is a little bit moving, well... <laughs> We actually have our own cameraman this time. Let's give him a round of applause. Hello, my name is Hunter. Yeah, I do not speak in this accent. He's my bestest friend he's, besides this guy. He's not. He's I not actually from sound this like country, this. Though. Yeah, he's he's from uh, Emostia. Emostia? The hell kind of guy. Okay. Anyways. So, anyways, let's get to the creepy part. Um. So, basically, um. We're doing Abandoned by Disney. Now, who's ever heard of that? If you guys haven't heard of that, you kind of suck and you need to, like, read it. Or you can hear it from us. Um, I didn't actually hear about it until my girlfriend talked to me about it, like, two months ago. But we just researched it today. She actually wanted to do the video with me, but we need something to do the videos with. Because we never do videos anymore. So, um, yeah, and we thought it would be a little bit more creepier if we actually did it at night. Because, like, what we did with our 100th video. So, anyways, Martin, you want to start off with this uh, creepypasta instead of being creepy yourself? Well, y'all, I gotta talk to y'all a little bit about this creepypasta though. You feel me? So, this creepypasta, right, starts out with this guy. I don't know his name. He's just a blogger. You feel me? So, he goes to this place as a little kid. He goes to Disney World. And then there, uh, he gets in the mail or some shit. He gets in the mail this pamphlet, right? Mm -hmm. And he, uh, and it's like a map to this place. You feel me? Yeah. And it's a... Uh, it's a map to... um The Jungle Book place. The Mowgli's Palace. Yeah, Mowgli's me? Palace. Mowgli's Palace. And, uh, well, he's like, well, fuck this shit. I don't even want this. So he takes one of his old comic books, slaps that bitch in there, <laughs> puts it away, and throws it in a, in a tub. And his parents are like, well, you're grounded. So they took the tub and they put it in the storage bin. You feel me? So after they get that in the storage bin, he grows up and shit, right? And the storage bin is still in there. I don't know why, I don't know why, but it still is. I guess he's living with his parents or so shit, I don't even know. But, he goes there and he's like, damn, I need to research this shit. Yeah. So then he remembers Mowgli's Palace, and he's like, hey, I think I got a map of that. So he goes, takes that bitch out there, opens it up, he's like, Mowgli's Palace up in this. So he goes to that place, and that's when it starts to get weird. All so, right, can I say something before that? So, Alright, so basically, um, yeah, basically Martin said that this guy had a map and he wanted to go to this place. Now, um, he researched this place for about a year before he found the map. He was, oh, yeah. he remembered. And he researched this thing about, basically, it's called Treasure Island. And it's a place that was abandoned by the Disney Corporation. I think it was in the 90s, I'm not sure. Uh, might be in the 60s, but Most anyways. Likely. So anyways, they ba they bought this place for about a million bucks, and it was called Treasure Island. It was a resort in the Bahamas, and they were like, you know, fuck it, we don't want this place anymore. So for some reason, they abandoned it, wasted all their money, fired all their people. And so this guy, whoever his name is, he remembers this, and then he started doing some research on it. And he found out that there's this place, which Martin was talking about, called Mowgli's Palace. And it was about a four-hour drive from where he was, and he lived in Emerald City, North Carolina. Um, so he's like, okay, I should bring my camera, bring a flashlight or whatever, take this map that I have of the place, because when he went to Disney World, they were doing a promotion, so they said, oh, we'll send this to the mail since he goes to Disneyland. So he remembers the map, he goes, gets it, and he drives the four-hour way to Mowgli's Palace. He, it's a struggle to get there because no one knows about it. You can't even research it really on Google up at this point in the right. pasta because... That they took out all the info of this creepypasta or like all the info of Mowgli's Palace and stuff because Disney didn't want people to know that they just did this shit. And the reason why, we'll talk about it more in this creepypasta. That's a true mystery, y'all. So anyways, Martin, you can continue with what you're talking about. For sure. All right, so he goes, right? And before he can even get to the place, right? He has to cut through all this brush and brush is like leaves and shit. Right, so all these trees, and he can't even get to it. So before he gets to it, he gets to this place after cutting through all that brush. So he gets there, and he's like, what the fuck is this thing? And you know that bear from the Jungle Book? If you haven't seen it, look that bitch up. Baloo. Baloo. Baloo the bear. He's like, 
Well, hey, y'all are skipping it, bibbing it, you feel me? So, <laughs> hey, what is he, Bill Cosby? He, he's like some of them old scat man niggas. Yeah. You feel me? Not niggas, excuse me. Um, but <laughs> he goes there, right? And he stands up there and he's like this, just smiling, but there's bird <laughs> shit in his mouth and all over him. So he's like happy that there's bird shit and he's like, ha, that's funny. So he goes in, right? And then he's like looking around and whatnot. It's all moldy. It's like, the floor's crumbling to pieces and whatnot. Uh, if there's anything before he gets to the snake, you want to add? Yeah, so basically, he get, he goes through all the brush and everything. He finds this old place. It's a really old, rundown place. It was there for about 20 years abandoned without any people there or anything. So uh, he finds this gate. It's all ruined and broken. It bugs eating it from the bottom. He pushes it open, and he basically explores around the whole place. Uh, he looks for anything that might be uh, in for, like, anything that's cool to him that he might want to take interest in, take home, or take a picture of just for proof. Because he wanted to go and put this on a blog because no one's ever gone to this place before. They know it's there. And if you don't believe this creepypasta, you can go look it up right now. And where did Martin go? He's probably raping the camera. Anyways, so, um, this guy goes around, looks at stuff. Everything's molding, falling apart. There's like broken wood and broken glass. People, vandals and thieves have come in there and break it through everything. And weather has really torn down the place. Um, and so basically he goes to this point where he finds the statue of what he, he thinks is like a 80 foot long python, I think it was, right? Yeah. So what happens after that one? Scoot over a little bit. <laughs> no, because I, I, I watched the camera or whatever. We're a little bit far back. It's okay, though. So when he gets to this uh, in, anaconda place, right, he gets there, and he's like, damn, this is really cool looking. But apparently the sun hit hit the anaconda on the right part because it was starting to go down or whatever, starting to get dark. So he goes, snaps a picture of that bitch. And then I guess the anaconda gets all flipped out, so its head starts to raise and shit. And he's like, oh. Oh, right? So he gets all scared and he goes out. But the anaconda, it's like 80 feet long or something, looks back at the, the blogger or whatever. He's like... <laughs> anyway. Uh, if Zuhair, if you're watching this, okay. you feel me? Anyway, it looks back at him and like hesitates. And it shakes its head and then it goes away. So then he's like hella freaking out. So he runs to the nearest room talk about that room um so basically he goes to this room and when he's there mind you he sees all these signs that are in black and red spray paint and they read abandoned by disney like it's some small protest from some people who weren't happy with that disney just bought this place for millions and abandoned it so anyways um he goes to this place he goes to one room which has the sign abandoned by disney over it and um, he goes and looks around, and he doesn't see much. He sees like lots of like clothes and stuff on the floor, but once he tries to take them off the rack, they, they're just so old and so wet and nasty, they just fall apart. And so he's walking through, looking at all the moldy food on the counters and stuff from like 20 years ago. He sees this old static TV, turns on the lights, they're all flickering on and off because they're old as shit. Um, and then basically, he finds something that he thinks that he's been searching for the whole time. And basically, it's a room, but it's different. It has an actual sign. And Martin, you want to explain what the sign says? Yeah, the sign says, what the fuck was that? Uh, <laughs> Bigfoot coming out early this year. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the sign said. No, no the, the, the sign said, uh, what the fuck did the sign say? Oh, it said, uh, uh, Mascots only. Yeah, mascots only. Thank Got you. Got that shit. And so, <laughs> anyways, the guy's like, okay, so mascots only there must be something cool in there because um it was like where all the costumes are and stuff so they're like all right he goes down the stairs where he was sitting on and he looks at the lock it's padlock so he's like okay good i know no one's been in here because no one's broken the lock and he sees the metal in the door around the lock he's like i can break this easy because it's falling apart i don't know why anyone else didn't think of that unless they just couldn't at the time or they were too damn stupid you know these ghetto people nowadays so anyways he breaks down the metal with not much force and he goes inside he sees most of the floor is like moldy and messed up but most of the things are still good see notepads and pens on the table all the tables and chairs all the little costumes all the lights still work pretty good um and so, uh, anyways, I don't know what this guy's doing, but, um, so he, he goes into this one room where he finds the costumes of Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, Goofy, Minnie Mouse, all that cool stuff. 
And so he's like, okay, so this is where the costumes were for the people that worked here, the loincloths and all the tribal gear. And then here's the actual stuff. What the hell? Um, so he, he finds all the stuff and then he's like, okay, so what's the worst that can happen? Uh, I want to take some of this stuff home to, or take a picture of it or something. So basically he picks up like a Donald Duck head or whatever and um, basically he, he looks at the duck head and as Martin knows, a skull falls out of it, a human skull. So at this point it falls on the floor beneath his legs and he's like looking down like what the hell. And so it's like a crushed skull, it like falls on the floor right where the face was so all this like breaks. Um, and he's just like, what the hell? He takes a step back and he looks for a second. He's pretty stunned. He's like, well, I mean, whoever did this, Disney did it because it's their responsibility. Someone died here or someone was left here. And he's really scared at this point. Disney did it! And <laughs> so anyways, that's when he, he notices that he remembers when he first walked in, the Mickey Mouse doll he saw, it wasn't a doll. It was a costume. And it was inverted colors. So his fur was white. His gloves were black. His freaking uh, overalls were a light blue color, and his face was like really dark. And so he's like, what the hell is this? And the thing gets up, and it starts like walking closer to him, really like, basically like what he's doing. And um, if that was me, I'd piss my pants. But anyways, he was like that, and he was getting ready to take a picture of him. He's like, this is awesome. And then all of a sudden, Mickey Mouse is like, he's like, ha ha! And he's like, uh, you want to see me shake my head off? And this guy's like, what? And then he, like Mickey Mouse is like, what this guy's doing with autism, trying to claw at his own head. And then he starts ripping his head off, and this like chunky ass yellow blood stuff comes out of his like throat. So at this guy, at this time, the guy is just like, what the hell? So uh, he runs out that bitch. Yeah, he runs out. He never goes back. And the pictures that he took, the one picture of he took of Mickey right before that happened, it killed his camera and then when he looked at it it was gone and deleted and the pixels on the camera they were dead so it doesn't matter even if he had the picture so like after that he didn't even want to talk about experiences however he did make this creepy pasta don't look so, now but we'll be in watch okay anyways dumb shit i said don't look now <laughs> okay um so anyways we're probably be m being watched by that mickey mouse character but anyways um what what like, opinions oh. do you have of this well, up until the point where I heard about the uh, Mickey Mouse getting up and ripping off its blood, its head. Oh, by the way, yellow blood was spitting out his neck or whatever. Um, I have a couple. We have a couple theories about why the blood was supposedly yellow, but we'll get to that. Um, up until that point, I think everything is totally real. I think there was a true place. Yeah, there is. That, you can go, go look it up right now. Yeah, and they spent. It was like what was it in the Bahamas? Or it was something? thirty million bucks. Thirty million dollars in the Bahamas. And, uh, yeah, so, but, um, the theories of why we think that the blood is yellow, perhaps, it is oldie shit, moldy shit. <laughs> oldie moldy. Oldie moldy, bro, oldie moldy. Thank you, thank you. So, <laughs> uh, second theory is, maybe because the Mickey Mouse was inverted colors, maybe the blood was inverted to yellow. Why was it chunky? Maybe it's chunky and yellow because he eats cheese. Right, that was our third theory. So, anyways... Besides us being stupid, basically, um, my personal opinion for this creepypasta is, yeah, that it could be real, and even up to the point where the skull falls out, you never know. You but never know. But I don't yet. think, unless this place was actually haunted by something, like a demon, or maybe that's why they left, who knows, that the Mickey Mouse could do that. That seems pretty impossible to me. But I like the, just the reality and, like, the circumstance of this creepypasta, and all the details that it was a bitch to read, but I like the creepypasta. Pictures or it didn't happen. <laughs> so they only show one picture on the whole creepypasta, and it's the inverted Mickey, but it looks totally like, like, yeah. yeah you can tell he didn't take a picture shit, of it. But that's pretty much what it would look like. And, um, personally for me, I say that this could be real, it could be fake. I always leave an open mind with this kind of crap. I really don't care. I, I just talk to you guys about it. So you guys tell us what you guys think. Like, comment on this. Um, definitely subscribe if you like this video. For um, sure. Um, yeah. We're going to be doing our videos mostly if it's not a solo video, if we're here together. We're going to be doing our videos at night. Yeah, and we're going to be making more creepy videos, like the one, our 100th anniversary. This is kind of just a promo video to see if you guys like this better. Yeah. Now, we're not really being creepy at the moment in this video, but we're just trying to, like, get the background set for this. So, yeah, and we're going to be editing our videos more with computer software when I get that. Oh, I heard footsteps behind Oh, yeah, that place is, I, I told you in the other video, it's supposed to be haunted, apparently. 
Yeah. But anyway. That's Frankie right there. That's scary as shit. Um, I'd like to uh, tell you guys that this particular hat that I'm wearing right now, uh, you know, we will give this away in our giveaway, man. Yeah, but I don't know if anyone will want the hat that you're wearing. I don't know if they want it or not. But I'm yeah, gonna, we're going to be giving away a couple different things. Actually. We're going to sign them. And we're gonna give them out to you guys for free. We're gonna but pick you up. When we get a lot shit. more subscribers and more support, because right now probably no one cares. But yeah. you know, yeah. We're getting about ten subscribers a day. Probably when we get like five hundred subscribers, we're probably gonna do the giveaway. Probably, yeah. That's what we our goal is. So, anyways, you guys, yeah. Uh, tell us what you think about this video. For tell, sure. And tell us anything that you want us to do in the future, because our list we have a big list, but we're too lazy to do the shit on the list. Yeah. So, um, like we were lazy to do this for like the last two months. So yeah. Um, tell us what you think about this video, our other videos, future videos, anything, our channel. Um, and yeah, that's basically all I have to say. That's all he has to say, y'all. That's all I gotta say, too, then, y'all. My name is Martin Bustos from The Lavender Project. I'm Tony Sager of The Lavender Project. Stay sexy, y'all. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to be a TLP boss today.